Martin Scorsese is known for having cameos in his movies, and here is the director's cameo in Killers of the Flower Moon, explained. Killers of the Flower Moon is the newest film from legendary director Martin Scorsese, with the three-hour epic exploring an era of history that Scorsese hasn't yet delved into. Martin Scorsese's cameo in Killers of the Flower Moon is one of his most unique yet, so here is where you can see the cameo as well as what it means. Killers of the Flower Moon is finally here, with the highly anticipated addition to Scorsese's filmography being a massive critical success as per usual. The film explores the Osage murders that took place in Oklahoma from the 1910s through the 1930s, with it following Leonardo DiCaprio's Ernest Burkhardt, one of the main conspirators in the plan. Killers of the Flower Moon has a lot to say about the murders and their place in the broader context of American history, and Martin Scorsese's cameo manages to perfectly hit home these themes. Killers of the Flower Moon will surely break an incredible Scorsese and DiCaprio streak. Play video. Why Martin Scorsese reads Molly's obituary in Killers of the Flower Moon. Martin Scorsese's cameo in Killers of the Flower Moon is right at the end of the film, with the director playing the radio announcer who reads Molly's obituary. Killers of the Flower Moon's epilogue is presented in the form of an old-timey radio show, with various hosts explaining the aftermath of the Osage murders with the help of props and cartoonish sound effects. However, this scene ends with Martin Scorsese coming on stage and somberly reading Molly's obituary, capping off the film. Martin Scorsese's choice to have him read Molly's obituary in Killers of the Flower Moon actually serves a thematic purpose. Firstly, it helps accomplish what Scorsese hoped to do with the film. Killers of the Flower Moon has brought the Osage murders back into the limelight, and Scorsese's voice in the film, both directorially and literally, helped many learn about these atrocities for the first time. Scorsese's solemn tone while reading Molly's obituary also helps remind the audience that these are real people who were really victims, with Scorsese's segment lacking the levity and goofy tone of the other announcers. What Martin Scorsese has said about his Killers of the Flower Moon cameo. Martin Scorsese directing Leonardo DiCaprio, Lily Gladstone, and Robert De Niro in Killers of the Flower Moon. Martin Scorsese has actually commented on his unconventional Killers of the Flower Moon cameo, explaining why he ended the film in this surprising way. In an interview with EW, Scorsese explained that, like many other atrocities of the past, the Osage murders have become entertainment, something that Killers of the Flower Moon had to grapple with. This led to the idea of doing the radio show ending. When commenting on why Scorsese played the cameo role, the director said this. Killers of the Flower Moon's Martin Scorsese cameo is different from the rest. William King Hale, Robert De Niro, sneering at someone in the crowd in Killers of the Flower Moon. While Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon cameo is cool, it is far different from those seen in the rest of his films. Martin Scorsese's other cameos in his movies are typically more subtle, with him often playing characters with no lines or even being the voice of an off-screen character. Previously, Scorsese played roles like a taxi passenger in Taxi Driver, a pickpocketing victim in Gangs of New York, and a phone client in The Wolf of Wall Street. Killers of the Flower Moon Scorsese cameo is different as it puts the director front and center. Scorsese is the focus of his Killers of the Flower Moon scene, with all eyes being on him as he reads Molly's obituary. While Martin Scorsese's cameo in Killers of the Flower Moon is a far cry from his other appearances, it was the right choice for the film.